Diffused knapweed is a biennial terrestrial weed. Native to the Eastern Mediterranean and Western Asia, it was introduced into North America by 1907 as a contaminant in hay. It's been reported in most of Western and Northeastern North America. Diffuse knapweed rapidly colonizes dry and disturbed lands. It's frequently found in pastures, rangeland, and open roadsides. This weed is problematic in that it displaces native plant species and reduces forage production on rangeland. Diffuse knapweed is a winter hardy forb that usually grows as a biennial, but may at times grow as an annual or short-lived perennial. Seeds germinate throughout the growing season and develop a long taproot. Plants typically remain as rosettes the first year and bolt the second year. Rosette leaves are four to eight inches long, deeply divided, gray-green, and covered in small hairs. Stem leaves are alternate and stalkless, getting smaller and less divided higher up the stem. Stems are one to three and a half feet tall. Some large plants often have numerous spreading branches that can give them a ball-shaped appearance. Stems are roundish in cross-section and covered in hairs. Flowering occurs from June through October, when one to a few small, urn-shaped flower heads, a third inch in diameter, are formed on branch tips. Small plants usually have an unbranched stem and one flower head, while larger plants can have over 100 flower-tipped branches. What appears to be one flower is actually a flower head, containing 10 to 15 individual florets. The florets are typically white, but sometimes pink or lavender. Bracts at the base of the flower head are fringed with spines, of which the terminal spine is distinctly longer. Each floret produces one small brown seed, topped by a tuft of very short, fine hairs. A single plant may produce over a thousand seeds annually. Seeds usually germinate within one to three years, but some may remain viable for several. Plants usually die back in fall after producing seed, though less frequently, some may re-sprout from the root crown the following spring. Dead stems often break off during the fall and are carried as tumbleweeds by the wind. Diffuse knapweed is frequently mistaken for hoary aster. Hoary aster often grows alongside diffuse knapweed and is similar with its gray-green foliage, wiry stems, and production of flower heads. Hoary aster differs in that its leaves are toothed rather than lobed, and its flower heads have two types of florets, yellow disc florets in the center and a fringe of purplish florets around the periphery. Diffuse knapweed is also often mistaken for other exotic and weedy knapweeds, most of which have similar gray-green, deeply lobed, and often hairy leaves. Squiros knapweed is perhaps most similar with its wiry form and small flower heads. Squiros knapweed flower heads have pink to lavender florets. While its bracts are also fringed with spines, the terminal spine curves distinctly backward unlike diffuse knapweed. Spotted knapweed typically grows larger than diffuse knapweed and has larger flower heads with pink to lavender florets. Spotted knapweed bracts are tipped with black, giving the flower heads a spotted appearance. Diffuse and spotted knapweed hybrids have been identified at most diffuse knapweed sites in North America. Hybrids tend to grow larger than pure diffuse knapweed. They may have all white or lavender florets, and their bracts are often a combination of the two with a darker tip, as well as a fringe of spines, with the terminal spine distinctly longer. The more distantly related Russian knapweed also occurs in similar habitat and has similar leaves. Russian knapweed has slightly larger and more globe-shaped flower heads with pink to lavender florets. The flower head bracts of Russian knapweed have margins that are thin, papery, and not spined. 